Hey guys, so you wanna you wanna work on developing your ESP, making your intuition stronger, working on your psychic development, expanding your consciousness, gaining abilities, uh, opening up your gifts, um, uh, receiving a download. Uh, there's a lot of different ways. Again, these are words, just words. A lot of different ways to describe it. But you wanna get better at your ESP? Really simple. Really simple trick, or not trick, I'm sorry, a, a really simple way to practice. And it, all you need is a deck of playing cards, okay? So you get your deck of playing cards, and and what you do, it, or what you can do at first, is to try and guess if it's red or black. You got a 50-50 shot. It's going to be really easy to tell if you're, if you're doing better than the 50-50 average. So you put the cards face down, you know, maybe you do one at a time. Maybe you do three or five or ten, whatever you, whatever you prefer. And you guess they're face down. You can maybe you, you can touch it with your hand and try and get a feel, feel what it feels like. And and red or black might feel different. Yeah, there's people out there who say what a fucking dipshit saying that you can feel red and black. Here's my response: Yes, you can. Just because you don't believe it doesn't mean it's not possible. Red or black, or you just think about it, picture it in your mind. Look at a white wall or a wall in your house and look for the the coloring to change a little, either to a reddish or a blackish, a light or a dark. You could have it in your mind, and you could have like a, 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 a like a one and a two, or a plus and a minus, two opposite things. And then when you try and you're guessing that card, and your your mind makes it go one side or the other, red or black. There's a million ways to do it. Guess if it's red or black, or just whatever pops in your head first. If you start to get good at that, you can make it harder. Guess the suit: diamonds, hearts, spades, or clubs. Now, when you're trying to guess the suit, you have a one in four chance. We're assuming we're not using jokers here, right? One in four chance. Um, and then with the suits, you can, if you're good at the get, getting the color, so you kind of figure out what color it is, and then you got to go, you know, one of the two, one of the two red or one of the two black. Arch or diamonds, spades or clubs, right? So, or clovers, however you call it. And then when you're getting really comfortable with that, then you can guess the card outright. Or 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 maybe not just the the actual card outright a black uh, it's a, a jack of spades you might want to do um, just the number two three four do two through ten get rid of the face cards and just do two through ten or you can do ace through ten and count the aces of one so okay so you draw one of the cards you got rid of all the face cards and now you got let's say you have a card face down let's say it's an eight but you don't know that and you have to guess um, what I what I when, when I was doing this stuff or working with this stuff. I would picture um, like uh, um, an imaginary line in my mind, and and the middle of the line would be the five. Anything to the left would be lower than five. To the right would be higher than five. I could usually get that much. Now narrowing down to a four or a three or a two, that's it's tricky, but it's something that you can develop over time with practice. I'm telling you, you can do it.